Siamese cat versus Burman cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? We are Siamese if you please. We are Siamese if you don't please. Those lines sung by two haughty Siamese cats in Disney's Lady and the Tramp express the Siamese personality perfectly. Perhaps the most important thing to know about these cats is they are talkative and opinionated. They will tell you exactly what they think in a loud, raspy voice, and they expect you to pay attention and act on their advice. Siamese cats are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Siamese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. Do not get them if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. If you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Siamese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Siamese does not like being left alone for long periods, and if you work during the day it can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. The Siamese is highly intelligent, agile, athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys, and his body exercised with teaser toys he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. Choose a Siamese if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. If you like the pointed pattern of the Siamese but not the yali voice, a Burman might be the cat for you. He is a docile, quiet cat who loves people and will follow them from room to room. Expect the Burman to want to be involved in what you're doing, and be grateful that he's not as bossy as the Siamese. Docile doesn't mean dumb. The Burman is a smart cat and, of course, curious. He likes to explore his environment, and has been known to get trapped underneath floors that are being replaced or to accidentally go for a ride on top of a car. It's a good idea to always keep tabs on where he is. He communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He enjoys being held and will relax in your arms like a furry baby. The short, fine coat of the Siamese is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Despite the length of the Burman's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily. Comb it weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Burmans shed their winter coat in the spring, so you may want to comb more frequently than to remove loose hair. A warm bath can also help to loosen and remove the shedding coat. To accomplish a Burman bath, wetting the cat with a handheld shower nozzle is often preferable to immersing him in a tub of water. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. What the Siamese looks like depends on the breed standard of each particular organization. Most cat associations call for the Siamese to have a svelte but muscular body with long lines. The wedge-shaped head is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base, pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. Medium-sized almond-shaped eyes are always a deep vivid blue. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Siamese walks on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, thin tail that tapers to a fine point. The short coat of the Siamese has a fine texture. In the Cat Fanciers Association, it comes in four colors, seal point, a pale fawn to cream body with deep seal brown points and deep brown nose leather and paw pads, chocolate point, 
an ivory body with milk chocolate colored points and cinnamon pink nose leather and paw pads, blue point, a bluish white body with deep blue points and slate colored nose leather and paw pads, and lilac point, a glacial white body with frosty pinky gray points and lavender pink nose leather and paw pads. International Cat Association allows for a range of colors beyond the four point colors recognized by CFA. They include tabby points, red points, cream points, silver tabby points, smoke points and particolor points. The traditional cat association recognizes two types of Siamese, the traditional and the classic, both with a very different look than the modern Siamese recognized by CFA, Tika, and other cat associations. Berman has a silky, medium-length coat in the pointed pattern of the Siamese, color is darker on the face, ears, legs, and tail. A broad, rounded head topped with medium-sized ears, bright blue eyes that give him a sweet expression, and four white feet that give him the appearance of wearing little white mittens. This is a medium-sized to large cat with a stocky, powerful body that belies his gentle demeanor. The medium long to long coat has a silky texture and little undercoat, which means that it rarely mats. It forms a heavy ruff around the neck and is wavy on the belly. A pale body, which varies in shade depending on the cat's color, is set off by darker points. For instance, a seal point Berman has a body that is a pale fawn to cream color with a warm tone, gradually shading to a lighter color on the belly and chest. The points are a deep seal brown. On the front and back paws are white gloves ending in an even line across the paw. On the back paws, the gloves extend up the back of the leg, called laces, and end in a point or an inverted V-shape. In the show ring, the symmetry of the gloves and laces are an important factor and may mean the difference between a kitten going on to a career as a show cat or as a pet. Besides seal point, Bermans come in blue point, chocolate point, lilac point, and various party color point and lynx point colors. Lynx point Bermans have a clearly defined M marking on the forehead, light markings that resemble eyeglasses around the eyes, spotted whisker pads, solid colored ears with no stripes, and thumb marks on the back of the ears. The legs and tail have stripes and rings. The active and social Siamese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever and learns tricks easily. The friendly, laid-back Berman is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They are happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.